Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 163 in the last day of January. You've made it to the first month of 2019. You made it through the first month of 2019. If you didn't get here early, you missed um, Bob and Jacob talking about the polar vortex freezing everything in their world, uh, which sounds pretty terrible, honestly. <sighs> All right. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't here with us early, talking about uh, the snow and things like that. Um, and if you want to go well, catch up, because really all we're talking about today is triage. Um, I've sent a mail to continue some of the conversations we had last or two weeks ago, last meeting. Um, we're making some progress on Wix devs, so if you're interested in having those conversations, we'll have them on the mailing list. Uh, but we do need to go walk through all the bugs. So let's go do that. Ready, Bob? Let's go. All right. Um, I'm going to skip this one down here for now. Light.exe does not contain Unicode characters. He closed it without comment, so I'm going to assume that this was user error in the end. I think that's reasonable. All right. Um, extensions to version their IDs. Uh, do we have more to talk about on this one? Um, well, you just sent the mail, so I haven't absorbed it yet. Well, this is the tape. This is the internal ID. Sorry, I probably wasn't. I didn't think about this discussion. The version of various IDs of. All right, yeah. Well, once we get somewhere on that, we'll discuss this too. We'll, we'll talk in the conversation about tables and things like that being versioned. Um, enable user to change setup language and burn UI. This is a feature request somebody asked. They want to do it in Wix 311. I was like, well, no. But you could send a PR to Wix 4. That would be great. And he had a whole lot of um, conversations about, well, why not this and why not that that I kept pointing out if you read the documentation, we'd be in a better place. Um, so anyway, I think we could toss this in Wix uh, 4. Uh, let's toss this in Wix 4 in Burn, and we'll see if he wants to actually do the work to contribute it over. We'll see how it works. OK, works. that works. Uh, I mean, because it's an interesting feature. I've seen it in other things. So. Patch creating usually purely Wix does not include it. Oh, come on there. Scrolling stuff. Um, patch changes to an XML file, and an XML file element makes changes to that. Both XML files are in the same component. When it's back to the patch, it doesn't see it work. Hmm. Well, so this sounds, it, it didn't make it explicit, but it sounds like um, he's using filtering. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you're filtering to only the thing that you reference. Right. And that does not flow from that reference to everything that's affected. Um, so a component ref does not guarantee that you're going to pick up the differences for everything for that component. Um, and I think the, the problem here is it's not picking up the custom table that the extension creates that's associated with that component. Which makes sense, because there's no way of saying that this table understands uh, or has this component reference in it and so on and so forth to get that flow yeah. start to work. It, the problem is it, it conceptually, the component ref does fix things like files and registry values. Right. So, Because we follow those references. Yeah, and I think that's what it, it boils down to is, is we don't follow you know, random references. We follow the references we know about. And uh, there's today there's no way for an extension to get involved and say, hey, this thing also applies to me. Yep, I think that'd be a cool thing if someone wanted to solve it for because it's not going to be trivial. Uh, not at all. Uh, may have to add functionality that says this is the reference to a component. Ugh. Yeah. Because that's filtering. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right, cool. Yeah. Should do that. It'd be great if it did that. Wix 311 registration of COM components for XA6, X64. Uh, correct registration needs split data in two components. Unique 30 
GUID for 3264. Okay. This component creates registry keys with PROG ID and H keys here interface. Reg data. I'm confused. Well, it's COM, so there's already a certain level of confusion built in. Yeah, but how um, do you have a, so that you want a 64-bit PROG ID to point to a 32-bit DLL? No, so as I recall, PROG IDs are platform neutral. The... But what they point at isn't. Yeah, so the class IDs are what are typically platform specific, except, you know, if you go spelunking around, and I don't know if this is like, you know, recommended or required, but the class IDs are, um, or tend to be the same for both platforms, and it's up to COM to decide what to give you based on the client. And in fact, there, there, there was a change, I think, in Windows 7 compared to before, where it, it will explicitly give you the platform um, of the client. So, but but I'm pretty sure that um, the prog ID space is shared. It's the it's the you know other registrations like class IDs that are. Um, what is it? Redirected, not reflected, because reflected reflection dies. Yeah, that's their redirection. Shape. Yeah, it's redirection. It's redirection. Yeah. Um, but I think the complaint here is that if you use the strongly typed authoring, you can't separate out the the prog ID, or rather, prog ID is it's tied in with all the rest of the definitions, so you'd end up duplicating uh, the prog ID. Yeah, this is there's an, a really, really ancient bug in Wix that says something about, hey, how about a prog ID ref or something, because you can't get prog ID. Oh, back. yeah. And it's like bug eight or something like yeah. that. I, I kid you not, it's going to be on the first page, I think, um, or the last page, depending on how you look at it, uh, yeah. of issues. Um, yeah, I, there is that. And if that's the issue, then this is a dupe of that, and it's obviously been a long time, long known thing. It's like, yeah, um, don't have a good answer for it yet. Is that what this is? That he's trying to use a same property? Pretty sure. That, so this sounds like it's first of all only a problem in um, a, pa a 64-bit package that registers both 32 and 64-bit. Components, comp components, and you want to put the the prog ID on the two different classes, I guess. Is that I mean? Yeah. Well, the prog ID should should there should be one prog ID, and then multiple architecture specific you know, class IDs. Sure. Right, register, right. Blah, 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 blah. And because of the way that it's organized, prog ID ends up on the bottom, so you end up having to duplicate it across all these class IDs, and then of course that creates problems if you put them on the same MSI because the prog ID is duplicated. And boom, everything blows up. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly that bug from ancient okay. history. Okay. All right. So why don't we uh, mention that issue over there? And if he says it's not the same, provide more specific examples on how it's different. Um, we'll go from there. Okay. That works. I want to try. Can I? Oh, I can't. How do you go to the end? <laughs> oh, I was looking for it. Oh, thing. yeah. Oh well. Um, how to create a shortcut on Start Menu leads to I69 warning. Yeah, I69 warnings are a pain. Sometimes they're correct. Most of the times, you did them on purpose. Right. I agree with the you know, if if the warning shows up, it, the the how to should mention that it's going to show up. I generally agree with the same thing. So documentation, someone can fix it. Um, 
Yeah, I actually do think I have a blog post on I-69, but the documentation says do this. Documentation probably should be updated. Yeah, if it's just a you know, casual mention. It is, and I think it's in the it's in the middle of a whole lot of other stuff. So anyway, I don't know which came first, documentation or my blog post, but I think my blog post came first, and um, I lost his name. What was his name? Aaron Stebner did the work to uh, convert a bunch of those blog posts into useful documentation. And Neil, I remember Neil did a bunch of oh, those Neil as well. Neil did that too. Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, Sean, is this the same as the other heat bug about MS Build 15? It looks like it. Right. Yeah. I thought so. Great. So we can dupe that and carry on. All right. Um, that's all I had for this week. Um, anything else anybody wants to talk about? Uh, we had a nice long. Uh, meeting last time. So, anything else going on? Parks being made, stuff being done. Um, getting towards the middle of February where life will get better for me after that. I'm like, yay, I'll have a little bit more breathing room again. So, all right. Sounds pretty quiet out there. Um, I think we'll be back in two weeks. Oh, no, that's not correct. I will not be here in two weeks. Uh, do you guys want to have the meeting without me, or should we punt a week, punt for a month? Votes, opinions. I, I much prefer you to have to deal with you know recordings and presentations and whatnot. So punt for a month. I don't know that we're going to have anything in two weeks. Sure. Uh, given the current uh, workloads that I'm under right now, so people seem not to be making tremendous progress in two weeks. Um, all right, so I guess we will uh, be back here on the last day of February. So we'll go from the last day of January to the last day of February. Uh, Jacob's typing something. Um, so that's one, two, three, four. All right, yeah, that's four weeks from now. Oh, I am doing my counter correctly, right? Um Quick question on my PR. You accept it. Did I mess up the linking, or why did the status not update the issue? I don't know. I'll have to go. I didn't even notice that. That's a good question. Um, we'll have to go take a look at it and see what we can see. Well, let's see. Can I? Oh. Um, bah, 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 bah. You have to put fixes and then Wix tool set issues pound 50809. from here. Uh, that's the bug. Where's the uh, PR? I don't have the PR in front of me. My... Should be at the bottom. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. So it referenced it. That's good. Um, oh, yeah. So this will create... A, all right, it's exactly what Sean just said. You have to have a verb before it that says fixes or closes or something like that. There's documentation on GitHub, someone that says Hey, and you can automatically close issues now by say fixes whatever. Um, so it allows you to create a reference without actually fixing an issue, which I kind of like. Uh, VSTS, sorry, Azure DevOps boards, pipelines, whatever, whatever you call it, uh, does not let you do that. If you have a reference to an Azure board number, it'll be like, hey, you can close this issue. Um, right off the bat, and it's like you have to know whether to close it or not. I kind of prefer the GitHub thing that says, hey, I want a verb here that says you're fixing this versus, hey, I just created a reference to it. Because this allows you to say, well, here's one PR that's part of the fix, and then another PR that's part of the fix, and then another one that finally says, all right, close issue, yada, yada, because this PR finally fixes it completely. Anyway, uh, so that's the issue with this. So um, this can go and be closed. It's assigned to you, right, Jacob? Yeah, so you can go ahead and close that and say, yeah, this is fixed with that thing there, and we'll be on with our way, our merry way in Wix v4. Um, it'll be, yeah, so we have to wait for the fix to get Wix v4. Though. Although it's an interesting random note that this person here said that it looks like they've fixed it, it, fixed it in a later version of Win 10. So... <laughs> Like when 10 found the issue of case sensitivity and um, it uh, might just be fixed there. But anyway, be good that we work quickly on uh, earlier versions of Win 10. All right. So on that note, uh, you guys have a uh, good month. 
I'm sure I'll see you on Wix Devs, but we'll be back here in four weeks. Four weeks, February 28th. Till then, you guys take it easy. Bye. Bye. Bye.